up just a little bit of it. One thing, if somebody's got an antenna like this. You gotta dig it out. Yeah, that, if it points on a steep angle, the cover's not gonna care um, because of the way it inflates. But it's so easy to just take it off. Okay, so the next step is to take our cinch wand. And I'm gonna step back a bit. And I'm gonna pull on this until it's tight at the bottom of the front wheels. So you could probably see the cover move at the front. It got right at the bottom of the front wheels. And I'm gonna pull through that drawstring. Walk forward, put the same line underneath the blower assembly, come over here, and plug the system in. This is the power wire two pin trailer type connection. And then the same plug coming out of the vehicle's trunk or hatch. Tightening cover so I don't have to get it on the ground at all. I'll just do a couple of loops here. Since there's a T at the end of it, it doesn't take a Boy Scout to uh, make it some kind of crazy knot. Then I'm going to take a walk around the vehicle. Try to make sure it's at the bottom of all four wheels. And that I don't have significant slack. I went a little lower on that tire there, so I'm just going to tie this for a second and take a little bit of remaining slack out. vehicle, even though it's tiny, um, has plenty of ground clearance. Take my two buckles. Don't have to be crazy tight. Again, they're just keeping the midsection of the cover lower as it inflates. 